Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Blackburn and today we're going to talk about contact slide microscopy and direct observation of soil microbes. So, what is contact slide microscopy and direct observation of soil microbes? In the first lab, virtual lab from SWE 3411, we've seen how to use a microscope and you know, the basics of light microscopy. Now we're gonna give one step uh, forward and I'm gonna show you fixing microbes and staining microbes and observing stain microbes in the microscope. There are several objectives of using the contact slide. Uh, the contact slide will be, uh, uh, you will place the slides of the microscopy directly inserted into the soil, and we will let the microbes grow into that slide, and then we're gonna retrieve this slide one week later, and we're gonna fix and stain those microbes and observe them in the microscope. So the objective of doing this is we can see the uh, actual distribution, spatial distribution of the microbes in the soil. And then we can see how they arrange themselves with regards to each other. And basically we can, uh, we can separate and observe uh, fungi, uh, actinomycetes, filamentous bacteria, and uh, rod-shaped and coccus-shaped bacteria directly on the soil environment. And we can uh, have an, uh, assessment of how is the spatial distribution in, in, in the interaction between these types of microbes. So I'll be, I'll be showing for you guys the uh, uh, all the practical in this side. And so first of all, this is in a schematic of the foam cup that we, we will use and uh, the soil inside, inside. So first we have to weigh the soil uh, we will weigh in two different cups and each one of these cups will insert two slides 150 grams in each cup. You will see that the video is a little bit accelerated or uh, uh, Making this a little bit more dynamic So one cup labeled as control the other cup labeled as treatment. So what is it the control and what is it the treatment? The, the control is just the soil and water the treatment will contain also glucose and ammonium nitrate as a source of nitrogen and carbon. The glucose is carbon and ammonium nitrate as a um, source of nitrogen. Yeah? So the, the, both of them will receive the water and the treatment will receive the water containing glucose and ammonium nitrate. So here you can see the slides that we will bury in the soil for one week. Uh, considering that one soil will be treated and uh, the other one will not. So in one soil we will observe just a normal uh, uh, growth of microbes in the soil with water and in the other soil we will observe what will happen if we stimulate those microbes with an easy source of nitrogen and carbon. So here we are weighing the, the glucose and the ammonium nitrate to mix with the water before adding this water to the soil and having this soil moistened, yeah? So here measuring in the, in the uh, cylinder, uh, the water for the control and slowly adding and mixing this water with the soil for preparing the soil for the incubation. So we are incubating the soils for one week at room temperature and waiting for those microbes to grow in contact with the slide, yeah? In contact with the slide. So it's the finished cups here with the, the water and water plus glucose and ammonium nitrate. Uh, and then we are now going to insert the slides into these cups and leave the, those slides in the soil for one week. Yeah, so very important to label uh, the slides and uh, choose the side that we, you will uh, stain. So this side that you will stain, you have to be very careful in the procedure of when you retrieve those slides from the soil to, uh, to avoid disturbing. Yeah? 
So just bury those slides in the soil and then we will cover with aluminum foil and make just small holes on the top just to avoid losing too much moisture, yeah? losing too much moisture from these crops during the week. Because if you, we don't make this uh, slight cover, uh, this, the, uh, will be too much evaporation and the, the soil will dry. Uh, this is one week later for the retrieval of the, the slides. You tilt the slides slightly to the one side and then pull it up and tap to uh, take the excess uh, soil out. Yeah? Tilt it to the side, and then when it's tilted, take it off to avoid disturbing the soil where you will observe them. Tap them just to take the excess of uh, soil out. Now we're gonna stain, yeah? We're gonna stain those microbes that are in the slide. Uh, the stain will be with Rose Bengal and the fixation will be a chemical fixation using acetic acid. So first we need to rinse the excess of soil with uh, water. And uh, after rinsing the excess of soil, we will apply the acetic acid. This is all done inside the fume hood because the concentrated acetic acid is very smelly and you don't want to breathe that uh, the fumes from the acid. So here uh, Butaina and Ahmed are placing the acid over the, the contact slide and it's going to be there for a few minutes, three to four minutes and after this we will uh, remove the acetic acid and stain. So here is just placing the acetic acid on the samples so before uh, uh, staining, we will need to remove the excess acetic acid with rinsing and then apply the Rose Bengal. Yeah, we will need to leave this Rose Bengal again for a few minutes. And if it dries, we need to add more. We need to always be careful that we are adding the, the Rose Bengal as, as we needed. And before observing in the microscope, uh, we need to remove the excess of the, the, the rose bengal again. So it looks like there is not much there, but when you look in the microscope, you will see very cool images. So here is the image on the microscope with the four times objective. Uh, at first, you don't see much. You see some soil particles and some aggregations that could be colonies. Uh, then you can move on and zoom in with the, the uh, next magnification. Here is 100 times already. So you will see here some hyphae uh, and in the soil and some bacteria also. Yeah, so we can focus up and down some rod shaped bacteria. The small ones here uh, are bacteria and the big uh, ones uh, look like some hyphae on the soil. So this is just a quick demonstration on how you can do this uh, observation of soil microbes, direct observation. And this, you don't have only to use uh, uh, carbon and nitrogen sources. Actually, you can do whatever treatment you want to do. And the, the objective of using this method is, for example, if you add uh, salinity as a treatment or oil or whatever is the treatment that you're adding to the soil, what you want to observe the effect. Now you can see what is happening directly to the microbes as a direct observation in the soil. So if you see here is just an example of how you can express this by doing different treatments and showing some different photographs of what is the effect of your treatment on your sample. So if you were doing the project, you will be using this. All right, this is all for the lab today. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next lecture, in the next lab. Thank you very much.